हाय एवरीवन आज की वीडियो का टॉपिक विमेंस मूवमेंट इन इंडिया है विमेंस मूवमेंट का जो एम था दैट वाज टू अपलिफ्ट द विमेंस कंडीशन इन इंडिया सो थ्रू दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्री इंडिपेंडेंस एंड पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस एंड कंटेम्प्रेरी विमेंस मूवमेंट इन इंडिया मूवमेंट की जो नींव रखी गई थी हिंदुस्तान में दैट वाज बाय सोशल रिफॉर्मर्स सोशल रिफॉर्म मूवमेंट फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट था टू रिमूव द ऑब्स्टिकल्स इन द लाइफ ऑफ वुमेन एज इट क्रिएटेड अवेयरनेस अमंग द पीपल दैट वुमेन मस्ट बी लिबरेटेड एंड बी मेड इक्वल ऑफ मेन उसका रिजल्ट ये हुआ कि इन द 19th सेंचुरी द सोशल इवेंट्स वर एलिमिनेटेड एंड अपॉर्चुनिटीज वर प्रोवाइडेड टू द वुमेन फॉर देयर एजुकेशन बाय द लेट 19th सेंचुरी दे मेड देयर प्रेजेंस फेल्ट इन पॉलिटिकल एक्टिविटीज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द सेकंड फेज ऑफ वुमेंस मूवमेंट दैट इज द नेशनल मूवमेंट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम many women belonging to the middle class started taking part in the political activities till 1919 national movement jo tha wo limited tha to the urban upper class but later when gandhi involved in this movement into the national movement participation of the masses began to take place in this phase political development and women's participation in the national movement went hand in hand सो जो फाइट इक्वालिटी फाइट फॉर इक्वालिटी जस्टिस एंड लिबर्टी थी वो वॉज गोइंग ऑन सिंस लॉन्ग टाइम बट जो नेचर वुमेंस मूवमेंट का है वो भी टाइम टू टाइम चेंज होता गया थ्रू दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन एंड इवन अवेयर यू अबाउट द स्टेटस ऑफ वुमेन इन वैदिक पीरियड मेडिवल ब्रिटिश एंड कंटेम्प्रेरी जो वैदिक पीरियड में वुमेन का स्टेटस और रोल के बारे में डिस्कस किया है दे वर stated that women had a very high status in the vedic period which was a golden age for the women kyunki women were rarely visible as they represent those group which did not have a literary culture and therefore nothing much about them because rarely they are participated or they are rarely belong to some government programs and schemes position of women in the medieval period as it stated that no information on the domestic life of ordinary women of medieval times but india witnessed significant socio economic changes during the medieval period giving rise to new social groups which could not fit into traditional hierarchy and also it tells ki mughal rulers mughal time mughal rulers ke baad kaise वुमेन के लिए एक अच्छा या उसके वुमेन के रोल और स्टेटस में कैसे चेंजेस आए एज मुगल रूल अटेम्प्टेड टू पुट डाउन सती सती मूवमेंट को खत्म करने के लिए मुगल रूलर से इट स्टार्टेड एंड हुमायूं इंट्रोड्यूस अ सिस्टम ऑफ लाइसेंसिंग टू ब्रिंग इट अंडर सम कंट्रोल अकबर एक्टिवली परस्यू द अपोजिशन एंड जहांगीर अपोलिश इट बाई लॉ एंड औरंगजेब परस्यू द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दिस लॉ पोजिशन ऑफ वुमेन इन द ब्रिटिश पीरियड एज इट स्टेटेड कि यूरोपियंस ने कोई चेंज नहीं ला पाए थे सिचुएशन ऑफ वुमेन में इन दिचुएशन ऑफ वुमेन सॉरी सो वॉट द ब्रिट इन द ब्रिटिश एरिया वॉट दे हैव इनकरेज देर कॉलोनीज दैट दे शुड स्टार्ट स्कूल्स ऑफनेजेस एंड डेस्ट्यूट होम्स स्पेशली फॉर विडोज दिस टूड अगेन सती चाइल्ड मैरिज पर्दा एंड पोलिटिया में this produced tangible result in the subsequent periods contemporary women's movement in india started from 1975 and till now has played an important role in bringing gender issues to the front for forefront of development pla- planning and defining feminist politics so both women's organization hue uh, or Known organization that were formed during this time are the Stri Mukti Sangathan, the Stri Sangash, and Mahila Dakshata. That is in New Delhi. Women have been subjected to implicit as well as explicit for discrimination. So, however, pre-independence issue were quite different from the post-independence ones because of the different level of growth and development of the society. Hence, the form struggle was also different from each other. the fundamental 
मार्क्सिस्ट थ्योरीज बिलीव कि जो गैप है बिटवीन द हैव्स एंड हैज नॉट दैट शुड बी एलिमिनेटेड जो एक्सप्लोटेशन अल्टीमेटली एंड हो जाएगा सो दे गिव इंपॉर्टेंस टू अ कलेक्टिव कॉन्शियसनेस अमंग वुमेन एंड द ओल्ड सिस्टम by and large continues even in contemporary india especially in rural india the feminist orientation divided in three parts liberal leftist and radical all these three feminist orientations have their different works as you can see in through the slides to in sub feminists ke through they able and encourage women to participate in uh, government programs schemes and encourage women and strength and creativity also developed in the women feminist movement mein kaise changes aaye by the time pre independence and post independence ke ki pre independence movement mein revolt mainly against human rights violation in the form of sati and mistreatment of widows various post independent move, movement aim ki basic jo issues se ki female education hona chahiye equal pay for equal work hona chahiye etc followed in post independent pre independence movement were led by few social reformers like raja ram mohan roy and many others the post independent movements have mobilized masses in the form of women organization ngo etc aaj aap dekh sakte hain kitne ngo kitne self help groups bahut sare women organization hain that support and that give a voice to the women all these are the movement of feminist which changed by the time and this way they enable the women to speak for themselves to stand against the violation exploitation and speak for their right the major demand jo major demand hai contemporary women movement ki is related to child marriage ki child marriage nahi hona chahiye abortion should be banned dowry related violence ki against they speak many other uh, issues also they speak do in their movements and the focus should be on economic empowerment of women child bearing should be shared as a social responsibility aajkal aap jaise dekh sakte hain ki bahut zyada in cheezon ko encourage kiya ja raha hai these all are the contemporary women movements include in the contemporary women movements indian feminism is still battling with many of the old problems the recent me too campaign shows a changing face of women's movement in india you can see it as we know that government of india make national commission for women which was established in 1992 jo 73rd 74th constitutional amendment ne ki matlab they provided through the 73rd 74th constitutional amendment se ki not less than 30% to women in local bodies this shows equality towards the women so india has evolved as a society since the last two centuries and however it's high time that women of our society feel safe and secure and they should despite of evolving in nature are soft sooner unlike that uh, they the struggle that was faced by the women and that was carried on them by men is uh, very very crucial for them like very hard time for them it was only after mahatma gandhi's entry into politics that the nationalist movement transform from a middle class movement into a mass movement where women for the first time raised their voices against the disabilities that they suffered so women movement in india behind the long struggles of women's advancement advancement for subordination to gender equality and finally to women's empowerment do lots need to be achieved and there are various laws mechanism to be using to make women equal and empowered women making this in reality available to a large section of women the women's movement has brought women's issues center stage and made them more visible so today's video is all about how the women's got encouraged and empowered and how the gender equal in gender inequality to be removed and achieve the equality among them So thank you so much for watching this video.